Hey guys, uh, welcome to Recraft League channel and I hope you all are doing well and uh, safe out there. So today uh, we are going to build Node.js APIs using Node.js, uh, you know, Node.js Express and MongoDB. So let's just get started. So as always, we have to basically create an NPM package. So let's start by doing that. Um, all right, I already have created a folder, so I'm going to initialize uh, a node uh, package in it. So npm init, uh, the package name, hit enter, just hit enter for everything. So now we, you can see we have a package.json here, right? And uh, yeah, so let's move forward. Um, so firstly and foremost, we are going to install Express. So Express is the framework which will help us build the apis so let's uh, get started on that um just do yarn add express express and it will basically uh, you know install the package so you can see the express installed now let's uh, create a server file which will be the main entry point for our application new file server.js so firstly and foremost, we are going to import express const express equal to require express. And then after that, what we are going to do is we are going to, uh, you know, uh, create the application, the, which will be our server. So we are just going to execute the express and uh, it will give us our application. Now this application, We'll say app dot listen. So we are basically, um, you know, telling uh, on which port we are going to, you know, use it. So app dot listen. So I'm going to give it 5,000. You can give it whatever you want, but I'm going to give it 5,000, right? Um, the host name, which will be localhost and a callback function, you know, which will successfully get called when the server gets started so uh, i'm just i'm just going to do console.log server is listening at 5000 let's see if that works to start our server what we have to do is we have to execute it like a normal node.js program uh, which we can do by node index not index server.js and if we, we hit enter, you can see, you know, it, it output server is listening at 5,000, right? Another thing is, uh, we haven't created any endpoint yet. So let's uh, create uh, some endpoints. So what I'm going to do is app.get. If we send a get request at localhost 5,000 slash, what we will do is we will send a text response called hello world let's see if that works so right now if, if i make any change i have to you know go here in the command line and uh, cancel the previous instance and start another instance again now here is postman so now i'm going to hit the localist 5000 you can see the method is get uh, http local host 5000 if i send a request you can see i get the hello world so our server is running and uh, you know we created a demo route slash and uh, sent some response now the api that we are going to create today will be a crud api create create read update delete so it will have all the method where you can create item read an item read the list of all the items update the item or delete an item for this example what i'm going to do is what i'm going to create uh, a api to manage to do items so for example you can create a to do item you can edit it or you can get the list of all the to do items so that will be our model today so before that what i want to do is um i i, I don't want to like uh, so right now whenever i make change i have to uh, close the you know close the previous instance and start it again so i don't want to do it 
you know again and again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install nodemon so nodemon is basically a mo monitor package which will monitor your files and then according to that uh, start your instance again so to, in order to do that what i have to do is yarn add nodemon but it will be a dev dependency not a real dependency so we are going to add double hyphen dev and you can see it's resolving it's install if you go to the package.json you can see the nodemon here now i have to add a new script in the script section in our package.json which will be dev and uh, i will call nodemon server.js so now whenever i make a change to any js file in my project the nodemon will restart the server so let's do yarn dev here and you can see um cannot find module okay yeah so i okay what's happening can you find module version index.js waiting to file uh, okay What is happening? Um, all right. Uh, cannot find module. All right. Well, let me do one thing. Dot slash node. Uh, module slash dot bean slash node mon. I think it, this is how it should work, right? Um. Hmm. yeah so uh, i have to so right now nodemon is picking this main file so now i have uh, already uh, told uh, the you know nodemon that my main file is server.js this is the main entry point so it should use that yeah all right uh, i i don't think i need this one now let's see yeah so you can see so uh, now if I make any change you can see you know, it, it will restart the application this way so now uh, uh, this is uh, nodemon but this will be API so we need a database in order to you know save our data you know whatever data we are sending to the application we need to save it somewhere so in order to do that i'm going to use mongodb i already have uh, mongodb set up in my system um but yeah you guys uh, should install it before uh, trying this out now what i'm going to do is i'm going to to in order to access uh, mongodb what we need is uh, a, a driver a api driver no uh, not a api driver a db driver so they are like multiple driver present, but what I'm going to use is Mongoose, which is like the most popular uh, Node.js uh, DB driver. So yarn add Mongoose. So it's going to install the, uh, in a Mongoose package, you can see. Now what we have to do is we have to import it and, uh, you know, connect it to the database. So I'll go here, const Mongoose equal to um, require require mongoose right and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do mongoose dot connect right so now uh, here we have to give the um, the URL of the the URL of the mongodb instance that is running We'll do it by mongodb dot slash slash localhost. So by default, the mongodb instance runs as 27017. And um, now we're going to give it the, uh, you know, db name, which will be in our case will be to do, you know, to do's, I guess. Now, uh, what we have to do is, so we have to pass these two parameter. First is URL, uh, new URL parser. And I have to do 
and uh, then th there will be unified uh, topology uh, which will be true as well so both of these are uh, provided because in the newer version of uh, mongodb there are some uh, changes uh, uh, there are some changes which basic which basically you know uh, sometimes result in crashes and uh, these uh, options basically ensure that you know if uh, there is any kind of uh, um, you know um, crashes you know they, they will help us out well so i'll, I'll uh, basically link more information about these in the description you can go you guys can go and have a look um so now I'm also going to pro. Uh, I'm also going to provide a successful message if, in case you know, if you successfully establish a, a MongoDB connection, uh, which will be something like this: console dot log connected to DB. Right. So yeah. So let's um go here and start our. Uh, so it's already started, I guess yeah so you can see uh, it says connected to db so that's mean you know it is uh successfully connected uh, to the db all right so now let's start uh creating you know some apis so firstly and foremost the api that i'm going to create will be a post api by post api i mean is it's, it will be a you know uh, or a create api so using that api we will create to do item all right so now I'll do app dot post on slash to do and I'll get the request, I'll get the response and now I, I can do whatever I want with that request and response. So before doing that uh, I have to create a model for to do item, but you know, let's let's uh, do it afterwards. But uh, let's see. So, whatever data we will provide uh, to the you know to the post request, whatever payload we will provide, it will come inside body like this, and um, you know I will extract it from the request, uh, and uh, let's console it, console our body, and. Uh, for now, let's send a successful response. Response dot status two hundred dot send. Hello, it works. All right. So let's see. You know, let's uh, try to make a um, you know a postman request. So this is a get request. Uh, let's change it to post and to slash to do. Our payload will be in. Uh, you know, apply, uh, in uh, a JSON format. So I'm going to choose raw and uh, JSON and now I'm going to provide it a JSON. So I'm going to say title of our to do will be make a YouTube video. And if I send it, you can see I got the response. Hello, it works. But here you can see in the console, I am getting undefined, which which is like this. So let me clarify it more. So body right and if I hit the API again you can see body equal to undefined so I'm not sure why that is happening actually I'm sure why that is happening the reason is um, if you want to parse bodies like which is passed to your as uh, passed to you as payload in order to do that, uh, you need a middleware called body parser, which is provided by Express team. So let's uh, install body parser. It will be a, like a different package. So we'll go yarn add body parser. And uh, so the body, body parser install, I'm going to import JSON from it. So I only want to support JSON uh, format in our payload. So I'm going to do require body parser and will give me json and then say app dot use j json all right and uh, now let's see if uh, you know if it works i go here send 
and you can see you know uh, that now I am able to access the JSON so that is great now we have the JSON and everything uh, but in order to save our data we have to create a schema and then a model so that these are like a mongoose concept firstly formal we are going to create a schema schema is basically the structure of a record so I'm going to go uh, not a new file I'm going to create a new folder called models so we can have different models but right now we are going to only have one to do so let's create that new file to do dot js all right so in to do dot js uh, first and foremost we're going to import mongoose because uh, it has some methods which will help us create the schema mongoose and uh, i will going to take uh, going to do const to do schema equal to mongo uh, equal to new mongoose dot schema right and then it's going to take a schema so our title will be a string not like this a title will be a string and then we'll have another property called completed completed which will basically a boolean you know uh, because we want to know if we completed a to-do item or not you know uh, did we completed that item so its type will be boolean you know because it can be either a true or false and by default it will be false all right so in case if we don't provide any value for the completed by default it will become you know false so this is the schema now from schema we will create a model const to do model equal to mongoose dot model and we are going to name uh, the um, model to do and then it's schema to do schema and then I'm going to export model dot exports equal to to do model so it should should be e not modal it's a model right so now so this is our um, you know model so how it works is uh, we basically create a schema in our schema is like uh, there is a title there is a completed and then from that schema we create a model uh, not a model model and then export it so now let's import it here in the server.json we go const to do model equal to require um, dot slash doing uh, not dot slash model slash to do right so now we have the model so now what we are going to do is firstly and foremost I'm going to make this a sync you know and uh, yeah let's uh, save our record so now uh, I made it a sync. I am going to away, uh, not yeah, await right. So I'm going to await, and uh, before await, what I have to do is I have to create an instance from that model uh, where we're going to save uh, the record. So const to do item equal to new to do model you know and I'm going to provide all the values that I get from the payload into this model so whatever the uh, whatever values inside it like title or completed will go inside this new to do model and uh, from that I created this to do item so this is an instance which we which I have to save so we, you can uh, see it as an individual record so it holds the value of all uh, that individual in, uh, record information that we provided it and now we're going to save is to do item dot save so and this that's it you know it it, it, it works like that oh, and the exception expected why why it's yeah it's fine now so and you know it basically saves the item but you know what what will happen if in case there is an error you know uh, how we'll catch that so I'm going to put it inside a try catch. 
so if you don't know about try catch try catch basically helps you uh, if you are doing a single weight uh, and uh, in case your weight throws any kind of error it will uh, you know goes into catch and if not then it, it, it works as usual so a way to do item and once the uh, request is done what i'm going to do, do is this uh, status you know and um, the status will be 200 dot json so dot json method basically help us send json back to the client so here i'm going to uh, so one second to do item not to do item saved to do item yeah so this new saved item will be returned in the promise uh, after a save con save to do item to uh, 200 dot json uh, and i'm going to save that uh, you know i'm going to send that uh, item all right so we've created new item we get it back and now we are sending it back to the client that this is the item that we created in the catch there will be an error and if there will be an error we are going to send resource dot status 500 dot json and we are going to send it as a message wait and i don't know why i am getting this error yeah but it will be fine so there is a try catch now let's see if this works okay so we go into postman and uh let's hit it yeah you can see you know uh, by default the completed is false because we haven't provided and completed um and there is a id there is a title so id is uh, automatically created by mongo uh, obviously mongodb then there is a tight a title make a youtube video and the, this is a new thing it calls a version so this is basically to keep how many uh, you know version iteration you had on a record this is not important for this video uh, and uh, you can also you know disable it if you want but yeah so completed false id is there title is there so we created our first record we can create a new record uh, may uh, maybe make cook food we send it and you can see cook food with a new id and everything so that is great um we created our two new item we created our post api now let's create an api to get all the record okay all the get all the records so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say app dot get slash to do so this this was a post to do to do it endpoint this is a get to the to do on endpoint so to do a sync request response right and uh, now let's uh so now what we have to do we have to find all the elements from the database and send it to the client right so now we are going to do this so i'm going to again do a try catch so i'm just going to copy this catch to here and i'm going to say to do item list equal to await await to do model dot find by this so basically what what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm i'm what i'm telling the mongoose is that find all the element you know I, if i'm not so here i can provide some uh, criteria to filter the records through but right now i'm saying give me all the records I get all the records in the to do item list and then I just say response.status.json I'm just going to copy that and paste it so response.status200 json to do item list so if you don't know about the um, these you know uh, uh, these numbers they are basically http codes so 200 is like a successful rep uh, a successful response 500 is like an internal server error so you can read about them. I will uh, basically link uh, more info about them in the description.
so response dot two hundred dot json to item list. Let's see if that works. Um, I'm going to create a new tab here. Get to do. Let's hit it. Ah, you can see you know we have two um items: cook food and make a YouTube video. Let's create another one. Um, wash clothes. I why wash clothes? I don't know. Maybe clothes selling is wrong, but yeah, that's fine. And if I go here, you can see wash clothes here. You know, right. So we also created an API. We also create uh, created an API for the you know getting all the items. Now let's move on to create an API where we can fetch a single record by using its ID. So this ID, which is provided by MongoDB, we are going to use this to fetch a record. Right. So let's do that. Let's go here. App app dot get. Just to save time, I'm just going to copy this and paste it. Uh, right. But now we also need to get the ID somehow. For that, I'm going to use um, express params. So we can use it just like this. So whatever the ID will be provided uh, here, we'll be able to use it. Okay. So to do to do item async request response so now from request we have to extract params so whatever will be inside to do will go inside params so params equal to request now i'm going to use another method provided by mongoose which is find by id you know uh, there will be uh, you know in capital by ID and I'm going to do params dot to do ID all right so these param uh, these are uh, to this to do item was inside param and then I just said param dot to do ID um, this I will change to to do item so const to do item await to do model or find by ID so whatever you know record we will find will save it inside to do item and then send it to the client in case if they if the item doesn't ex exist then it will send null okay so let's see uh, if it works so i'm going to create another tab in here get but now i need a valid um, id so in case if i type anything um not anything but this and if I hit send, it, it it will not work. So in case if I provide it a you know invalid ID, then it uh, basically returns null. So let's change it again. Yeah. So you can see you know uh, now we are able to fetch only one single record. So now. So yeah, we already uh, now we already have an API for fetching a single record. Now let's. Uh, you know or delete a record you know that would be fun so I'm just going to um, copy this one yeah just to save time I'm just going to copy this one and just say app dot instead of app dot get I'm just going to say app dot delete so if you don't know about these uh, you know API methods I'm going to basically link uh, all the information about this in the description and as well as in the readme of the repo that i will be you know basically sending right so now let's uh, yeah so now let's uh, so we already have a to do id which we need in order to delete an item and then uh, const to do item await to do model dot find by id so in this case, what I'm going to do is instead by find by ID, there is delete uh, and find by ID and delete, I guess. So this is the, yeah, find by ID and delete. So we'll send it. Um, I don't think we have, we need any, uh, we'll need anything uh, here. So response to status, if to do item is 
if the um, item is deleted then we just going to send a message that this params dot to do id is deleted right so let's see so we just get the um so what we are doing here is we just get the to do id and then we call this method find by id and delete we pass in the id and we just if it it is successful then just send the response param dot to do id is deleted and if it is not if there is an error just return the error let's see if that works so i'm just going to create a new uh, delete let's see i send it says this is deleted let's go here let's try to fetch it it will say null and uh, even if here if you'll go so there are three items but if i go hit send now you can see i only have two items right so yeah delete works that is good now let's uh, i think uh, the final endpoint that we have to create is to update the item let's do that so instead of app dot delete it will be app dot put you know and uh, in the app dot put we need two things we also need the parameters and we also need the body the new new values that you you know want to update and what we're going to do is await um, updated record what is this? so params body uh, you know we have body here and uh, what we are going to do here will be this so find by id you know and uh, one sec right um, so what we will do is find by not id and delete find by id and update right so we're going to provide our params to do id and then we are going to provide our body so mongodb basically do a partial um, you know a partial update so for example you can um, you know send an object with title it will update the title but if you see uh, if you send title and uh, completed as well it will also update the completed as well so if you just send title, it will update the title so now what uh, basically we're going to do a uh, body and so this is done and we're going to send the updated record so again we get the param we get the body we find the item by id and update it uh, so we pr provide the id and then we just say you know whatever body we receive from the payload just put that and update then uh, uh, you know whatever the update record is just send it back so now uh, let's see if uh, that works so i'm just going to create a new tab here put and uh, so this id is deleted so this cannot work but this will work and now in the body raw json i'm going to say i updated the to do let's see if that works i send a request um yeah so it is uh, still giving me like the previous record but if i go here um here in the list so cook food uh, it will be changed to the title i updated the to do right so update is working if i go here and say completed if i remove the title in case let's remove it so if i say completed to true here it is still going to give me the previous record but if i go here and fetch all the list you can see the completed true 
if I go and uh, fetch it individually you can see the computer is true so yeah guys I mean that's uh, that's uh, pretty much it you know we today we created uh, thread APIs using to do you know uh, like modeling a to do and yeah I mean we learned to how use how to use express mongoose node mode node mode and the uh, you know body parser and yeah I mean that's pretty much it uh, we created uh, uh, an uh, API to get the item individually delete it update it get the list of the item or create to do item and I think this was helpful to you if uh, it was helpful to you let me know you know how do you feel about this and let me know you know what kind of content should I create next and yeah uh, till the next Saturday bye